What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Money, and welcome to a video summarizing the new Mark II Max content uh, from the 3.9 update, the Bulwark right here, the Falcon, the Exodus weapon, and also the Pursuer with Spark in this case. This is a live stream export. In the beginning, I'm talking about some very important general information, and then we go right into the gameplay, guys. And as always, I would really appreciate if you like this video to also subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell, because it gets me close to those 100k subs that I'm really trying to get at. All right, so enjoy the video, guys. Now, I want to show you this in case you have this too, okay? Uh, I'm trying to lock into the game and I will get the um, I will get this message. I, it, it takes forever, by the way. Awesome screenshot, War Robots, Pixonic. Looks so good. You get this error. I'm not sure if this is just me or if you have the same problem, but if you do have the same problem, just hit refresh three times, four times, and it, eventually it will work. Uh, that reminds me of something I also want to say, guys. There is a problem, or there's people going around on Discord, maybe on Skype, on Facebook, pretending to be Pixonic. Pixonic, LLP, or whatever their name is. They're writing you, they're telling you that they want to have your feedback, they appreciate you playing the game, blah, blah, blah. That's not Pixonic. That's tr somebody impersonating Pixonic. You see? Here you just hit the button a few times and you back. Uh, if you have somebody telling you that they're Pixonic and they want to hear your feedback and they want to, uh, you know, work with you on the game, blah, 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 whatever. Pixonic never contacts you personally. They would never do that, okay? So if somebody writes you like that, it's not Pixonic, it's someone impersonating them and he probably has an agenda. Wants to get some data from you, wants to steal your account, whatever. Now, thankfully, we're back in the, in the match. I'm activating all my weapons here. Let's see how much damage we can do. We're splashing into these Kamihos there very well with all our weapons. We have an Exodus, we have an Orkin, and we have uh, all that fired empty. Now, all weapons deactivate. You see, uh, saw that here, right? The Falcon is now without the three weapons, but we have a full damage resistance of 66% now. So out of 170,000 HP on Mark II level 12, we, 12, we pretty much have 500,000 health now, but with only one weapon, right? So I can make this guy shoot shoot down all his weapons, and now when he know he's when I know he's reloading, I can activate this again and bring him down really fast, right? This is how it works. Now, and I can also trigger a jump. I just show it to you here. Within the 10 seconds after activation of the ability, I have the I have the choice to activate a free jump. Now my resistance was back, and he fired into me with a fully charged uh, um, Bulgazari shock train. And he has done only slight damage because of the resistance we're running on this spot. So this is how it works, okay? I'll probably make this an export. Oh yeah. Oh, he got me good. He got me good, but he wasn't doing much damage because, once again, I didn't have my weapons activated. So what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to find a good moment here to uh, to do this, though. So he's he's going to be regenerating his, um, your, his, his shock trains. He's, he did a lot of damage this time because I had my weapons uh, mode active. And I'm taking damage into my back, but I got this guy and now I have the resistance back. So out of 15,000 15, HP are actually 45,000 now, right? This is how this bot works. The Falcon level 12 Mark II, pretty awesome. So I'm not sure what he's... Oh yeah, he's... Okay, I see what he has. That means I can pretty much just let him run into my rockets with the Orkin here, with the Exodus. Um, now I have a problem. They're trying to rush me. They're rushing me so bad that I couldn't do anything. Okay, so uh, let's jump into the Spectre with, uh, no, sorry, the Pursuer with three times maxed out, um, what's it called? The, oh yeah, I can already shoot him. Uh, three times maxed out a Spark. Do you notice what they are doing up there? This is like the most lame thing you could ever do in War Robots. You sit up there, with a bot that has a uh, has shock trains on it, and then pretty much you just uh, you just shoot at these guys who are coming uh, from their base. Yo, haha, <laughs> I somehow got him. Woo! All right, thank you for that. So that's the the three times spark. For those who don't know, that's a medium ver version of uh, of the. Uh oh, I need to get out of 300 meters range here from the Orkins. It's a medium scourge, uh, this weapon, right? And uh, it's a very effective weapon. It deals a lot of damage to the enemy. 
uh, because the closer you get, the more damage you will deal with this weapon. And now I'm activating my stealth mode so I can do quite a good amount of damage to this carnage. But now that I'm reloading anyways, I'm trying to get out of range here, trying to save myself. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank God. You get just taken down. Oh, boop, 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 boop. No, 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 no. You're not gonna... Oh, boy, they're coming. Oh, no. Oh, he wants me. He's focusing me a lot. Yeah, he's focusing me so much right now. Thanks to my dodging, I was able to survive some of it, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, we're down to 7,000 health. But we're still kicking because we have the, uh, the stealth ability on this bot and we're really fast. Now he wants to instantly va vaporize me, which he's gonna undoubtedly do once I... Oh, look, I can look through the wall up there. You see that? Yeah, I found a glitch. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, <laughs> stealth mode active. Sorry, dude, you're not getting me. Oh, man, that was just too funny. That was really funny right there. I did not expect to be able to regenerate another one of those stealth jumps. Maybe we can kill him, too? Yes. Wonderful, with that little bit of health. You know what? Let's just retreat. Regenerate another one. Why not? Five, six seconds till we can activate the next stealth. The problem is this guy is running rockets, and I think... He will probably hit me. He just has to hit me a little bit. Yeah, there he goes. See? He only had to hit me, like, slightly. That was already enough. Um, wait a minute. I, uh, I want to show you... Oh, damn it. Now, this is the Falcon again. I wanted to show you the Bulwark that we also have here. And, uh... Yeah. So, we are in control of most of the beacons, so that is good so far. Is he in range? No, he's not. Damn it. All right, there we go. Trying to hit him. Pretty good. I'm doing some quite some damage to him. And when you jump like this, it's very hard for your enemy to hit to hold his shield up because you jump so quickly and make a direction change. Yeah, I'm getting some nice backup here with rockets. However, most of these rockets went against this column in front of me. Yeah, come on, do it, Haichi. Come on, do it. Kill him. What are you waiting for? All right, let me do it then. I had to activate the weapon mode, which once again makes it so I take three times as much damage, right? Not exactly the best thing to do when three Scourges, probably heavily leveled, sorry guys, uh, are shooting at you. Oh, I see what you have. Three Dragoon, uh-huh. Alright, alright. I saw it. I saw what you have there. Ah, he's going back into safety. Yeah, yeah, you're looking at me. I see ya. I see you looking at me right there, dude. No way. I'm not gonna allow you... You know what I can do? I could corner shoot. Right? Oh boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we did some good damage to him. But we also took a lot of from, uh, from, from the previous encounters. But hey, that was a really great round here. I was able to show you the, uh, the new maxed version of uh, the Falcon. 1.4 million damage and the new maxed version, uh, the the maxed out, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Spark. Keep in mind, once again, guys, I want to repeat this. This account is not my own account. It's from Pixonic. I'm only allowed to use it to, to show you guys new stuff, right? To make some videos and let you guys know how new stuff looks like. So this is King of the Hill. Maybe we're actually going to be able to get the center beacon really quickly. Or, you know what, what's even better? So try to get a really good angle on these guys. Instead of, you know what I'm going to do? Instead of going for the center beacon, which is going to be half suicide, I'm trying to walk to around the corner there. And, oh, my, oh, why do I have to re-aim? Oh, come on, game. Uh, the game is the game is fooling around with me again. It was it was fooling me, trolling me. Is that a trident? What was that? What does he have? Yeah, that's trident. Look, I baited the Trident Rockets. Oh, I'm glad I was baiting it and not taking it. And since nobody's firing at me right now, I don't have to activate the ability. But now they are. Now I got a Shock Train hit. Oh man, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff coming at me. Regenerating the Spark. Look, there's a little, there's a little, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. 
Uh, I'm not even going to kill it. Whatever. It's just, you know, that's not, it's not even fair. Why? I'm not even going to attack this little guy. Oh, wow. Now that was me taking some damage. You know what? I'm going to use the opportunity here to, with damaged legs and slower speed, try to run behind cover up here. Because they have hit me pretty well with their Tolumbas right there. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, there's a lot of them coming. Look. <laughs> there's a lot of bad guys coming. The army of darkness is approaching. Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to have that. Let, give me, give me, come on, give me my stealth ability back. Why is everyone coming? Look, the entire freaking enemy team's coming this way. Are you kidding me now? Leave me alone. I th oh, wow, I can actually shoot over this? Yo, this is good. Oh, boy. No. <laughs> he wanted to shoot me before. Look, now I'm getting back again. He's got only 300 meters range, so I can just walk back. I can be so annoying to these guys. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, he hasn't seen me. That's good. He didn't see me yet. Yeah. Hello! Are you like that, huh? Yep. Oh, we have a uh, donation or something coming in. And I'm really looking forward to this day. And no! I had a reconnection problem thingy. Now I couldn't show you the bulwark. All right, so Beacon Rush. Wow, Beacon Rush on Dreadnought. That means we have to take the center beacon as fast as we can possibly do it. We have Blade 1986 doing the exact same thing, probably thinking too, that we need that center beacon as it's Beacon Rush. So that's what we're gonna try to go for. And it looks like we're actually going to get it because we're really fast with his Kamiho. I'm gonna have his back. Right? I'm gonna have his back covered. And uh, there we go. We have a Komiho right here. I'm activating my stealth mode. We have the center beacon. I can kill that Komiho very quickly. But then I probably have to accept that I'm no longer able to deal damage to the, bul the Bulgazaris there. They're just, uh, they with their physical shielding, I just can't deal damage to them. And somebody has a shock train, uh, the Bulgazari too. So in order to do something against these guys, Oh, so, okay, okay, I see what's going on. Oh boy, we have a lot of shock trains this way. Look, three bots with fully shock trains. And all, and the rest is, uh, you know. I don't know, maybe I can attack. You know, this is gonna be suicide right here, but who cares. Um, he blocks everything with his shield. It's the, <laughs> the new bot. The most, the biggest new bot in the game. You ask me this Bulgazari, it's just so powerful. But uh, okay, we are uh, behind cover right now. Maybe we're gonna be able to get something done. We we definitely baited him out. Look, now he's he lost his shield, I think. Now we're dealing damage to him finally, and he is destroyed. Let me fire empty my sparks so that once again we can attack him there. Okay, okay. Oh, I was unable to fire empty the sparks. Now that sucks. He activated his stealth ability before I was able to activate my... Alright, so here we go. Hopefully... No, I'm getting hit! Okay, here we go. Yeah. You know what? I think I might be able to kill him completely. Yep. With with us with us with a pursuer that has six thousand HP and uh, and only two sparks left, I was able to take him completely out of the game because of the fact that I had the stealth ability running for so long. But uh, he certainly took revenge. All right. So what is going on? We have three beacons under control. Somebody's attacking here. In case you wonder, you can click on the beacon and then have a look. Like you have to do it multiple times. So we have something coming up. I don't know what it is though. It's an Haichi, I think. Is it an Haichi? I, I didn't, I'm not. I'm not sure. All right. Let's drop in with a bulwark. Finally, that's the one I wanted to show you. Um, for those who still, you know, don't know the bulwark ability, uh, since that's going to be a separate video. Uh, basically what it does, it has a, a shield, you can see it active right now, it blocks every, every every damage there is in the game. Even Ember, it blocks. This right here is the maxed version of it, 98,000 shield energy, and, uh, uh, and against every type of weapon damage. And at the same time, uh, once you drop the shield, right, now I deactivate it because he took it out anyways. And now I have a physical shield too. 
this bot has a physical and an energy uh, energy shield at the same time and that's pretty cool and uh, but the physical shield is only active when you drop the energy shield and the energy shield only regenerates when you deactivate the energy shield so oh hey okay let's let's try to get this guy out of the way real quick hopefully I'm gonna be able to yep nice all right so he's now he's now having to deal with his with my physical shielding my physical shield absorbs the damage and now the rockets are coming in so I activate the energy based shield that blocks the rocket damage right and then I deactivate it again once I drop it because this way is the only way to regenerate some of that energy and look how much you know rampage how much havoc you can cause with this bot but <laughs> I have to accept that unlimited amounts of you know orc inspectors uh, no sorry orc and haichis are going to get the better of me unfortunately so we're walking in we're walking we're slowly walking in we have the falcon with exodus and orcans here but most of these guys are haichis with energy shields so i'm probably it's probably good for me let let's to fire let him fire at me now with his shock train see that so now I'm using all my weapons here to bring him down really fast and then attack him as well from the side. Thankfully he's being attacked from somebody else. Now my three weapons go away and I have uh, my resistance, my damage resistance. 91,000 HP times three. That's how much HP I really have right now if somebody shoots me. And we're now in control of all beacons. Wow, dude. <laughs> all right. That's yeah, great. I don't think I'll be able to do anything anymore. I, I basically have to scrap my bot, jump here, and then, you know, use another bot. And then I would have been able to do something. Prost! Oops. <laughs> I hope you didn't see that. <laughs> Alright, so 1.2 million, uh, 1.1 million damage done. 8 kills, 2 beacons. Not bad. And, uh, yo, that's the, uh, the new robots and the new stuff. I've shown you the Exodus. I've shown you... I will also make separate videos for everything. Like, I will make an Exodus video with three times Exodus on the Fury or something. Um, maybe. Uh, and then we're, we're making separate video with the Spark, probably Pursuer. I'm gonna make separate video with the Bulwark and the Falcon itself. But that was, like, a summary of all the items in one quick video for you guys. Okay? And so, if you wanna stay tuned and, you know, if you wanna help me out back or two then just make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, so that was my first video from the 3.9 update, and uh, hopefully you liked it. There's going to be more where that came from, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe. It's as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off.